Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss the bipolar sinusoidal pulse width modulation. Okay. So here till now we have discussed about single pulse modulation technique. multiple pulse width modulation technique and now we are going to discuss the sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique in the single pulse width modulation technique corresponding to each half cycle in the output will be getting only single pulse okay so that's why it is known as the single pulse modulation technique in the multiple pulse width modulation technique corresponding to each half cycle of the output voltage in the output will be getting or we were getting the multiple number of pulses right but the width of each pulse even though we, we were having the multiple number of pulses but the width of each pulse yes it was the same okay next now we are going to discuss the sinusoidal pulse width modulation in the sinusoidal pulse width modulation we are having the two types one is a bipolar second one is a unipolar okay what is the difference between the two we are going to discuss okay next but in the today's video we are going to discuss the bipolar sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique okay so here yes we are having the generalized block diagram for the pulse width modulation yes it consists of the two blocks one is the comparator second one is the trigger pulse generator okay the comparator compares the carrier wave and the reference wave okay comparator is comparing the carrier and the reference wave okay accordingly the comparator gives the output okay and accordingly on the output of the comparator the trigger pulse generator yes it provides the triggering pulses or it blocks the triggering pulses okay so this is the simple block diagram of the pulse width modulation technique next suppose we are having a single phase full bridge inverter single phase full bridge inverter right so it is a circuit diagram we are having input is a vdc we are using the four switches s1 s2 s3 s4 across each switch the diode is connected in anti parallel right here we are having the load suppose the load is resistive for example okay for simplicity okay now in the bipolar sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique okay so here we are using the two wave forms one is two signals one is the carrier wave carrier wave is a triangular wave reference wave is a sinusoidal wave okay so carrier wave is a triangular wave reference wave is a sinusoidal wave okay and and if the magnitude of if the magnitude of reference wave if the magnitude of reference wave is greater than magnitude of reference wave is greater than carrier wave then we are going to trigger the pulse the switches s1 and s2 s1 and s2 we are going to trigger okay if vc is greater than vr then we are going to trigger the pulses s3 and s4 right we are going to trigger the pulse switches s1 and s r s3 and s4 okay so here if you check this logic this logic we are going to develop or we are going to program in the comparator block okay so accordingly yes the comparator compares and this logic yes accordingly this trigger pulse generator okay operates on this logic trigger pulse generator operates on this logic okay if vr is greater than vc then s1 s2 will be turned on when vc is greater than vr s3 s4 will turn on okay now here we need to understand when s1 s2 turns on right means when s1 and s2 are turned on at that time current will flow from vdc s1 load s2 and again back to the vdc okay so output voltage will be same as that of the vdc okay so here v0 is equal to vdc right this is when s1 and s2 are turned on okay that is nothing but when vr is greater than vc magnitude of vr is greater than vc okay next v0 is equal to minus vdc okay so here suppose instead of s1 s2 now suppose s3 and s4 will be in the on state right suppose s3 and s4 will be in the on state then what will happen if s3 s4 are in the on state then the current will flow from vdc s3 load s4 and again back to the vdc so v0 will be equal to minus vdc okay so here when s3 and s4 are in the on state when s3 s4 are in the on state at that time the load voltage will be equal to minus vdc okay so here when vc is greater than vr then s3 s4 will be in the on state and therefore v0 will be equal to minus vdc okay so here try to understand 
when vr is greater than vc s1 s2 on state so v0 is vdc when vr is less than vc or vc is greater than vr s3 s4 will be in the on state and v0 will be equal to minus vdc okay so here we are having yes we are having the reference wave is a sinusoidal wave and carrier wave carrier wave is a triangular wave right carrier wave is a triangular wave now here fc is suppose fc is the carrier wave frequency fc is the carrier wave frequency so 1 by fc is nothing but the time taken to complete one cycle by the carrier wave okay so that's why it is indicated with the 1 by fc okay next suppose the magnitude magnitude of the sorry the peak value of vr suppose the peak value of vr is a vm okay i am indicated it here with a vm suppose this peak value is equal to vm so vm is equal to yes peak value of vr peak of the vr that is a vm okay next vc right suppose vc is the peak value of carrier wave vc is the peak value of the carrier wave so suppose i am representing it with yes this indicates corresponding to this right this is nothing but the vc okay vc is the peak value of carrier wave right peak of vc right vm is the peak of vr vc is the peak of vc or we can write it as a peak of carrier signal peak of the carrier signal okay so i am writing it as a peak of carrier signal yes. carrier signal or carrier wave okay now here if you check the waveform right we are having the frequency of the carrier wave which is greater than that of the reference wave okay next so if we compare right if these two signals are given as an input to the comparator okay then the comparator will compare comparator will compare yes the magnitudes of comparator will compare the magnitudes of vc and vr right vc and vr so if you check yes from this instant to this instant right from here to here right so let us indicate it with yes from this instant to this instant right from this instant to this instant if you check yes the magnitude of vr is greater than vc okay so if vr is greater than vc s1 s2 will be in the on state so output will be equal to yes it is a vd right vd or you can write it as a vdc okay suppose, suppose this is a vdc this is a minus vdc okay so here it indicates the magnitude is vdc okay so from here if you take the projection right so it will be like yes it will be cutting at this point right so here when yes here when vc is less than vr right vc is less than vr then when vc is less than vr then yes s1 s2 will be turned on and output voltage will be equal to vdc so that's why the output voltage is vdc right next again if you check from this point to this point right from this point to this point or here to here right from this point to this point if you check yes v vr is less than vc right vr is less than vc so output will be minus vdc right so it indicates minus vdc similarly again yes when vr is greater than vc from this point to this point okay so vr is greater than vc if vr is greater than vc then output will be again it is a plus vdc okay accordingly we can plot yes we can draw the plot for yes v0 right v0 consists of the positive values that is a vdc as well as minus vdc pulses okay pulses of plus vdc as well as pulses of minus vdc okay so corresponding to each cycle it consists of positive value of the supply voltage as well as negative value of the supply voltage right that is nothing but the positive pulses vdc and the negative pulses vdc that's why it is known as the bipolar that's why it is known as the bipolar okay now if you observe this waveform carefully if you observe yes this waveform right plus vdc minus vdc next again plus vdc minus vdc again it is a go on repeating okay so here if we draw the average value right if we take the average value of these pulses and if we draw the waveform it will be near to the sinusoidal right it will be almost sinusoidal right because here if you check the frequency of the 
carrier wave is very high here for example you have taken it as a very lesser okay but in real life the frequency will be very high okay so therefore these pulses will be very close these pulses will be very close so if you check for the sinusoidal initial value will be zero okay so if the initial value is zero so here if you check the width of the negative or the minus vd pulse it is a more okay and if you compare from here to here if we as we are moving towards the peak value as we are moving towards the peak value yes the width of the negative vdc that is a minus vdc pulse is decreasing okay it is reducing right but the width of the plus vdc pulse it is increasing it is increasing so average will be yes it is a in the positive direction in the positive value okay next after this point if you check yes the width of the plus vdc pulse the width of the plus vdc pulse it goes on decreasing right till this instant it goes on decreasing okay so here from here to here the pulse width of the plus vdc it goes on decreasing and what about the pulse width of the minus vdc it goes on increasing it goes on increasing are you getting the point okay so that's why the resultant voltage or the average value it goes on decreasing it goes on decreasing right next again if you check yes after this point right means after this point if you check yes here we are having the pulse width of the negative or sorry pulse width of the plus vdc pulse width of the plus vdc yes it is a decreasing here it was increasing from here to here right but now here to here the pulse width of the plus vdc it goes on decreasing whereas the pulse width of the minus vdc it goes on increasing so what is the resultant value or the average value it will be negative it will be negative right and from here to here if you check again the pulse width of the negative pulse right pulse width of the minus vdc it goes on decreasing whereas the pulse width of the plus vdc it goes on increasing right so positive pulse width is increasing negative pulse width is decreasing so resultant will be yes it is a decreasing it is a decreasing so the resultant wave shape it will be nearly sinusoidal it will be nearly sinusoidal are you getting the point okay so one thing is why it is known as the bipolar because corresponding to each half cycle okay it is yes in the output we are getting the pulses of plus vdc as well as minus vdc magnitude okay so that's why it is known as the bipolar right sinusoidal pulse width modulation okay important to note here the width of the pulse is a not constant right width of the pulse is not constant it is changing it is a changing right are you getting the point now here as long as the gate and is examinations are considered right here uh, no need to derive the expression right but it is important to note the final value that is the final expression okay so here we are having the final expression for v0 v0 is equal to m into vdc into sin of omega t right this is for full bridge inverter right m into vdc into sin of omega t m into vdc into sin of omega t this is for full bridge inverter full bridge inverter whereas for half bridge inverter it is a v0 is equal to m into vdc right output voltage right v m into vdc m into vdc by 2 into sin of omega t m into vdc by 2 into sin of omega t okay so it is a m into vdc by 2 into sin of omega t right this is the for half bridge inverter this is for half bridge inverter okay so yes m vdc into vdc by 2 into sin of omega t this one is for half bridge inverter okay and this one is for full bridge inverter so where m is nothing but where m is equal to vm by vc vm by vc it is known as modulation index modulation index right modulation index and where vm is where vm is vm is equal to or vm is peak value of reference wave peak value of reference wave okay peak value of reference wave okay this is nothing but the vm now what is vc vc is the peak value of carrier wave peak value of 
कैरियर वे कैरियर वे आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट ओके सो हियर वेर एविंग द पीक वैल्यू ऑफ रेफरेंस वे पीक वैल्यू ऑफ द कैरियर वे ओके सो हियर वी नीड टू मेमराइज दिस दिस एनी वन एक्सप्रेशन अकॉर्डिंगली वी कैन यस मॉडिफाइड फॉर द सिंगल फेज हाफ ब्रिज और सिंगल फेज फुल ब्रिज ओके सो एम इनटू वीडीसी साइन ओमेगा टी एंड हियर एम इनटू वीडीसी बाय 2 इनटू साइन ऑफ ओमेगा टी बिकॉज इन द हाफ ब्रिज यस दिस मैग्नीट्यूड विल बी वीडीसी बाय 2 ओके वेयर एज इन फुल ब्रिज इट इज अ वीडीसी राइट सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज एम वीडीसी साइन ओमेगा टी एम वीडीसी बाय 2 साइन ओमेगा टी ओके एम इज द वीएम बाय वीसी वीएम इज द पीक वैल्यू ऑफ रेफरेंस वेव वीसी इज द पीक वैल्यू ऑफ द कैरियर वेव आर यू गेटिंग द पॉइंट ओके दे हैव आस्क द क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन दिस फार्मूला ओके next so this is about the single phase full bridge inverter modulation based on bipolar sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique okay in the next video we are going to discuss the unipolar sinusoidal pulse width modulation technique thank you